Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Imagine deploying a cutting edge, non-lethal directed energy system that unleashes focused beams of intense sound or acoustic energy, instantly disorienting and incapacitating enemy forces from hundreds of meters away. Targets experience overwhelming pain, nausea, disorientation, and in extreme cases, severe physiological effects like nosebleeds or vomiting, all without firing a single bullet or causing widespread permanent lethality. This technology turns the battle space into a domain of psychological and physical dominance, allowing small teams of operators to neutralize large groups of adversaries with precision and minimal collateral damage, shifting the dynamics of modern warfare towards standoff control and de-escalation where kinetic force might otherwise be required. That is precisely why today we are diving deep into the United States military's powerful sonic weapons, including the renowned long-range acoustic device, LRAD, and related acoustic hailing and directed sound technologies that represent some of the most advanced non-lethal tools in the US arsenal. The long-range acoustic device, commonly abbreviated as LRAD, developed by the American company Genesis, formerly known as LRAD Corporation, traces its origins to the early 2000s, specifically following the attack on the USS Cole in 2000 when the need for long-distance maritime warnings and deterrence became critically apparent. The system was first prominently used in 2005 when the crew of the cruise ship Seaborn Spirit employed an early version to repel Somali pirates off the coast of Somalia, proving its effectiveness in real-world high-threat scenarios. Designed as an acoustic hailing device with escalation of force capabilities, the LRAD evolved from basic loudspeakers into a sophisticated, directed sound weapon that focuses high-intensity audio in a narrow beam, capable of penetrating wind, engine noise, and even vehicle interiors while maintaining crystal clear voice messages or piercing alert tones. The US military, including the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps, adopted LRAD systems extensively for a variety of roles. Shipboard anti-piracy measures, crowd control during operations, checkpoint security, border protection, and tactical communications. By the 2000s, LRADs were integrated across naval vessels, ground vehicles, helicopters, and portable units, with over 25 navies worldwide adopting similar technology. The system's commercial availability has also seen it used by law enforcement agencies for riot dispersal, wildlife management, and emergency notifications. But its primary military value lies in providing scalable, non-kinetic options to warn, deter or suppress threats before resorting to lethal force. Delving into the specifications that make these sonic weapons so powerful and versatile, the LRAD operates by generating focused sound waves at frequencies within the human hearing range, typically around 2.5 kHz, in a conical beam of approximately 30 to 60 degrees. This creates a highly directional sound cone, where the intensity can reach levels exceeding 160 decibels at close range, far beyond the pain threshold, around 120 to 130 decibels, and capable of causing immediate discomfort, temporary hearing loss, disorientation, nausea, or incapacitation. Smaller portable models weigh as little as 15 pounds for handheld use, while larger vehicle or vessel mounted versions can extend effective ranges beyond 3,000 meters, or nearly two miles, for intelligible voice and even farther for deterrent tones. Power is supplied through integrated amplifiers and can be adjusted for scalable effects, from polite warnings to overwhelming force, ensuring operators can escalate proportionally based on the threat level. Advanced variants incorporate dual modes, clear voice messaging for de-escalation, such as issuing commands in multiple languages, and high-power alert tones for immediate deterrence. The technology penetrates barriers like windows or vehicle hulls while retaining fidelity, making it ideal for maritime interdictions, convoy protection, or urban operations. Unlike traditional loudspeakers that disperse sound omnidirectionally, the LRAD's focused beam minimizes collateral impact on friendly forces or bystanders outside the target zone. Recent models feature rugged carbon fiber construction for harsh environments, integration with sensors or radar for automated alerts, and compatibility with unmanned systems. In a typical mission, operators deploy the LRAD from a vehicle, ship or aircraft to hail approaching threats such as suspicious vessels, crowds or intruders, delivering clear warnings over extreme distances. 
If ignored, the system escalates to piercing tones that force compliance by inducing physical discomfort, buying time for response teams without immediate kinetic engagement. In more intense scenarios, the directed acoustic energy can suppress large groups, disrupt coordination or clear areas, all while preserving options for reversible effects and reducing the risk of escalation to firearms. These capabilities position U.S. sonic weapons as true force multipliers in joint operations, excelling in non-lethal crowd control, perimeter security, anti-piracy, border enforcement, and expeditionary missions. They provide standoff deterrence against asymmetric threats like pirates, protesters, or irregular forces, enhance situational awareness through long-range communication, and support rules of engagement compliance by offering graduated responses while primarily non-lethal, prolonged or high-intensity exposure can cause temporary physiological harm, aligning with international standards for intermediate force capabilities. As of January 2026, US military sonic weapons like the LRAD remain actively fielded and in high demand, with recent orders including a $2.5 million contract in 2025, supplying units across the Army, Navy and Air Force for domestic and overseas operations. Genesis continues to deliver advanced models for border security, maritime patrols, and critical infrastructure protection, with systems integrated into southern border deployments for issuing warnings and deterring unauthorized crossings. Most notably, dramatic eyewitness accounts from the early January 2026 US. Operation to capture Nicolas Maduro in Venezuela describe U.S. forces employing a powerful, intense, sound wave-like device that reportedly caused Venezuelan soldiers to collapse, experience nosebleeds, vomit blood, and become incapacitated, symptoms consistent with extreme acoustic exposure or a next-generation directed acoustic system. These reports, shared widely including by the White House press secretary and covered in outlets like the New York Post and international media, have sparked global speculation about an advanced or classified US sonic capability in combat use for the first time, potentially an evolved LRAD variant or related technology, though official confirmation remains limited. Ongoing developments in acoustic, non-lethal weapons focus on increased range, mobility, and integration with directed energy programs under the Joint Intermediate Force Capabilities Office, ensuring these tools evolve to meet emerging threats in contested environments. The United States military's powerful sonic weapons stand as a revolutionary blend of acoustic precision, non-lethal dominance, and technological superiority, masterfully controlling the battle space through sound alone to deter, disrupt and defeat adversaries while minimizing casualties. What are your thoughts on these sonic systems, thrilled by their non-lethal potential and real-world applications like the reported Venezuela operation, concerned about escalation risks or physiological effects, or curious about how they compare to emerging directed energy tech like the active denial system? Share your insights in the comments below, give this video a like if it resonated with you, share it with your defense and tech crew, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into the weapons shaping tomorrow's warfare. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.